Our next guest is a comedian and writer with two big projects, a Netflix special called Hot Forever, and this book, All Things Aside, it comes out, uh, both of them come out October 11th. Please welcome Eliza Schlesinger. <laughs> had a very humbling moment. What happened? Coming into your show, so when you pull in, you come in like a black SUV and you feel like a big celebrity and there's guys there with big printed pictures of you and they want you to sign them and so I get out and there's so many this time and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like a princess. Yes, I'll get to all of you and I'm signing it and then Charlie Hunnam pulls up right behind me. They pulled my picture so fast, <laughs> put his out. One guy, I heard him go, I want my pen back. <laughs> I turned back into a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, so no. Fast. Isn't that the worst? That what? happened to me this morning with the couple was out there and they're like, hey, we're from Vegas. Will you take a picture? I took a picture with them. And um, then they go, say hi to Charlie. Uh, uh, you're like, I signed a couple of Charlie's headshots. I'm like, we're both blonde. <laughs> you're not going to know. So I hope those you, uh, The last time you were here, we were talking about illness. I had COVID and Mike Birbiglia filled in for yes. me. You were the guest at that time. I was. Uh, have you had COVID? Uh, I have. Thank yeah. you so much for asking. Congratulations. <laughs> I have. I've had it twice. Oh. And uh, it, is the, it is such a disruptor, I mean, to put it mildly. And I had it, and, and my husband's had it. And we have had, like, just, I feel like every American is just dealing with whether it's floods or sickness or something. Like, it's just something everybody's dealing with. My husband had hand, foot, and mouth. Oh, that's horrible. Which I didn't know. And we have a daughter, but she's a little baby. She doesn't go to school. So I don't know where he got this. We <laughs> thought it was monkeypox. We thought it was COVID. I did not see him for four weeks. And my mother had visited. I had COVID. She had to go home. So I had a family vacation planned. And my husband couldn't go. My baby couldn't go. So I flew to meet my mom and stepdad in Martha's Vineyard. And on day one, my mom got COVID. And so it's just me on, like, a family getaway with my stepdad. <laughs> Just like enjoying the island. Just like I'm crying FaceTiming my baby. <laughs> Hi, Randy. We had a great time. You did? You had fun? Did we you get to fun. know him? You, you get to know your stepdad I that did. Way. We just, you know, I, I didn't realize. I mean, he has one of those dad appetites. Like, he eats like the atomic bomb is about to be dropped. Like, full mashed potatoes, Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. And I loaded up. I lost a foot, and I loaded up. <laughs> do you, like, do you see your family? Are you very close with your family, your dad and your... I am, and because when you have a baby, the parents want to come back as much right. as possible. And my dad and my stepmom came to visit, and we're driving through Hollywood. And, you know, you're pointing out everything, which only parents care about. And you're like, that's where I've had coffee. They're like, oh, write it down. <laughs> Who cares? And we pass, we're on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't know how many people are from here, but we pass this place called Jumbo's Clown Room. Right. So yeah. Two strippers. Please no, explain. <laughs> For the rest of America, Jumbo's Clown Room is this beloved, it's, it's a strip club, but it's not nudity. And it's really more performance art. And the girls are very talented. And the are they? Like, Fat that... man costumes, yeah. Oh. Like they're actually very acrobatic. Uh, like you have to be a dancer. Oh. And my dad's like, what's that? And I'm like, it's Jumbo's Clown Room. And he's like, we want to go. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if we're that kind of family. Uh, I don't know if it's that kind of party. So we take them at like nine o'clock on like a Thursday. So like these girls are like warming up. This is not like the big show. And we get there, the girls are dancing, which if you've ever been to a strip club with your parents, I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> and my father, the dancers are there. My father's not even facing the dancers. He's face, he's parallel and he's like air drumming along. <laughs> and he's like, this is Steely Dan's second album. And I'm like, pull back. And these girls are like, are you gonna? And he's like, <laughs> He thanked them and everything. And we left. I'm like, did you have fun? He goes, I thought there'd be more clowns. <laughs> <laughs> like, he thought it was going to be like a bounce house. Yeah, balloon animals and whatnot. With, like, fire breathers. Wow. Sorry to disappoint. Hey, you were on Celebrity Jeopardy uh, last night in here, right? When did you shoot that? Shot a couple weeks ago. And so, can we see? Oh, yeah, you won. You can I won. say it. It happened over Spoiler alert. Yeah. I did. Who were your opponents on that show? Uh, well, it's another from another late night show. That's Reggie okay. Watts, who's okay. a band Reggie leader. Reggie Watts, yeah, I know Reggie, yeah. And uh, uh, Eddie Wang, who, who wrote the book that Fresh Off the Boat is based off of. And uh, did you pre like? Did you can? Is there anything you can do to prepare for Jeopardy besides watch Jeopardy? So a normal dork can study for it, but Celebrity Jeopardy is not as smart, right? Because 
because people spend their lives. I mean, we all saw White Man Can't Jump. Like, she studied for that, right? Right. It's a Rosie Perez. Okay. They're fishing from a, uh, a smaller pool. And I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm like, do I have to memorize, like, all the capitals in Western Europe, whatever? It's yes. general knowledge, uh, but there is, you don't want to be humiliated. Like, you don't want America thinking, like, you didn't know what a polygon was. Right. And so you have to, you got to, it's all in the buzzer. Oh. And you have to make a show of it so that if they if they cut to you, it shows that you did know it. You know, oh, I see. So even if you don't get it. And sometimes even when I didn't know it, I would pretend like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> of course I knew who James Monroe was. <laughs> and then you went on to the next round, which we haven't seen yet, I guess. Yes, I did. Okay. I cannot tell you anything about it, but I will tell you some celebrities in this town got strong thumb game. Oh, they do. <laughs> Some people got strong thumbs. Yeah, well, Henry Winkler probably more, more <laughs> yeah. than anyone. This is your book, um, which uh, is called All Things Aside, Absolutely Correct Opinions. Um, very exciting. Uh, there are some blurbs on the back. One's There's some from blurbs. Me. There's some blurbs. I like this too. That's funny. This was, I, I had just had a baby, and they were like, we need to do the photo shoot now. I'm like, really? <laughs> we can't Photoshop? They're like, it has to be now. And I'm like, well, this is what it is. So Who I took the to photo go. from uh, the, the reverse angle? Okay, so you're the only one to ever say that because if the photographer, please zoom in on this. Yeah, because the photographers are there. In it, yeah. who's taking the picture? Right. This is actually my publicist, Greg, because I had this idea. I was like, I want it to look like we're doing this. So that's not a photographer. The photographer is oh. the one taking it. Oh. He's a posing one. But I'm just I'm trying to give you that a look into that life of look, she's doing it all. Wow, you're really <laughs> I like this too. Sharon Stone wrote, send me a copy of your book and I'll read it. It was the best. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Because you gave such a thoughtful quote, and I was so grateful for it, and I'm friends with her, but she is, she's modeling for Dolce & Gabbana. She's in Italy. I am doing, like, an Instagram story about kissing my dog on the mouth. Like, right. we do not have the same life. And when I texted her, she wrote that, and I was like, can I use that quote? She's like, sure. Sure, saves her time. Thanks, Sharon. And you're doing, this is your sixth Netflix special, which I think makes it a series, like a limited series. <laughs> it's a limited series. Six of them yeah. is a lot. It's, it's, it's what we do. How do you find time to still take your parents to strip clubs with a schedule? We go, we go in the off hours. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's my sixth one. Where did you shoot this one? We shot it in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And we had a great crowd come out. And Why Cleveland? Why did you pick Cleveland? Better question, why not Cleveland? Why not Cleveland, yeah. That's what a, I think that's what a lot of Clevelanders ask. Well, the heart of rock and roll is in Cleveland. Yes, I've, we've know. all been. They hand out the passes when you land on the tarmac. <laughs> They're like, there's our Browns game, what do you want? Is that right? They're trying to get you in there, Everybody huh? goes. Uh, it was, you know, when you tour, it was one of the last large cities we had left on the tour. We had a lot of COVID makeup dates, and so we picked Cleveland because I wanted, like, a nice, diverse crowd. Good crowd, and so... Good and people in Cleveland. Good people in Cleveland. You, uh, no. October 11th is a very big day in your life. Uh, your new Netflix special, Hot Forever, and this book, All Things Aside, both come out. Eliza Schlesinger, everybody. Thank you, Eliza. We'll be back with Mab and Don Howard.